What's going on here, guys? Um, I made my most new and powerful refined transmitter circuit ever. Uh, I took everything I knew from this, condensed it into this, and I call it the ringer. So, we will see what it can do. You can run this without a DC converter. I just limited the current for safety. So I will turn this on, and it will be able to run halogen loads, incandescent loads, LEDs extremely efficiently, and still give off small amounts of wireless power. So here's a good look at it. It's wound on a nano crystalline ferrite rod, and I'll show you what it can do. I'll turn it on. So it's on. It's called the ringer. No load. It draws 5 watts. Load. Uh, it's 1920. Not loaded, 5 watts. So hopefully you can hear that ringing sound. And we also have wireless power still from the ringer. I'll show you what happens when we hook up an LED to it. So this was the bulb. 40 watt. Here's an LED bulb. Extremely bright. Like you'd be seeing spots from that. That's that's searchlight bright. There's our power consumption. Eight watts with the bulb. Five watts without it. So it's consuming three watts to be that bright. Um now the real way to use this circuit is to have it pass through a special full bridge rectifier which is extremely easy to do this high frequency output goes through a full bridge rectifier charges up a massive cap bank and you can uh, pulse discharge your load to charge big batteries and there's your, that's where your over unity comes from so again this thing is called the ringer and it combines everything I learned from the transmitter which is off in this video, it's not plugged in. I'm demonstrating to you how small and powerful this thing is. It's called the Ringer. So, let's hook up another incandescent. See that? Assuming 15 watts. Not sure if you can hear it ringing. But I think it's as efficient as it can get. Not sure. Um, next I'll hook up a large halogen load careful not to short anything out I'll just do it this way so here's a halogen load Pretty impressive. Now you can probably really hear it ringing. Power consumption is at 30 watts, so it's all it's very efficient. Probably hear that ringing away. Call this thing the ringer.
the key with that nano crystalline ferrite core. And there's also a high voltage that comes off this that can light fluorescent tubes, which I'll show. Here we go. So this fluorescent tube is lit from the ringer. And it will get really bright if I bring it towards the ground. So. still have small amounts of wireless power too like look at this it loves the fluorescent tube if I take my ground connection right here my ground connection this LED, the light will go wild so that's free energy too right here And we'll hook up our light bulb socket again. Flip it over. Just to show you how bright that LED is. And again, the correct way to use this power is you have it go through a full bridge rectifier. The high frequency rapidly charges a big capacitor bank, like I have right there. And then you dump that... Uh, you use a timing circuit, DC timing circuit, super cheap, and you use a dump circuit to recharge yourself some big 12 volt batteries, and you're off going, because the high frequency will recharge the caps extremely quick, you then dump it quickly, repeatedly, into your battery recharging through the timer circuit, and a uh, DC to DC step down circuit, so you're recharging the battery safely, with 12 volts at like a couple amps, and you're not placing a load on the system, the input, because the caps are being rapidly recharged from that high frequency electric field. And the key was that nano crystalline ferrite rod is wrapped on. I have a few more I can show. Um, so again, right here, this was the old one that didn't work. Um, this is what it looks like. Not sure if you can see it's sparkling. These are some crystal power cells I'm testing. They've been on and in operation since I built them. If the light output ever gets low, you just take a drop of water and go boom, 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 boom. And that light output will get brighter from the water. So, again, this is what it's wound on. Nano crystalline ferrite core, about 15 bucks a core. You can probably hear the way it rings. So, this is what I'm getting into now hyper efficient circuitry. Eight point seven five watts power consumption loaded, unloaded, five point ten.